Buongiorno e benvenuti. I'm Stephanie Smith from Liner Luxury Real Estate and I'm here today to show you this stunning 13th century farmhouse for sale near Fiesole. Check it out! The stunning villa that we're going to see today has a dominant position offering breathtaking views over the surrounding landscape. The villa is located on the hills behind Fiesole. It is 15 kilometers from the historical center of Florence and 9 kilometers from the Piazzetta di Fiesole. The property is surrounded by 1.2 hectares of land featuring woodland, an olive grove that counts more than 300 olive trees, and the private garden. We are walking along the property's roseto, that when in bloom is absolutely stunning, and leads us straight to the winter garden. As you can see, the property's winter garden is absolutely stunning. This structure is so elegant, made of glass and iron. This is where they store the citrus fruit plants and the bougainvilles during the cold months. The villa has a long history. This used to be the residence of Dante Alighieri himself, that was then taken away from the family when he was exiled and given back in the 13th century to his son Jacopo. It is said that this is the location where Dante Alighieri and Beatrice Portinari first met and that they could see each other from their bedroom window since the Portinari family owned the villa on the opposite hill. Il roseto leads us straight in front of Il Fienile, that used to be the property's barn. Il Fienile was built in the 1800s and still has its original stone facade. Today, it is used as a dépendance. As soon as we enter the dépendance, the first thing that we notice is how it follows the slope of the hill. Also, we have a perfect view over the surrounding greenery and see how it truly dominates over it. On this floor, we have the kitchen. And on the opposite side, a first double bedroom and a bathroom. On this lower level, we have the dining area and a first lounge area. The dépendance has cotto tile floors and exposed wooden beam ceilings. On three sides of the floor, we have large windows which provide us with different points of views over the stunning countryside. The wood used to make the banister, the staircase and the doors is 300 years old. We are accessing the lowest floor of the dépendance where we have the living room. Also here, the space is embellished by this large window that offers a breathtaking view over the surrounding countryside. And I mean, when I say large window, it is really big. Natural light in this property will never be an issue. The building has a T-shape, so it is quite symmetrical. Also here, we have cotto floors and exposed wooden beam ceilings. The living room looks onto a fireplace. And on both sides of the fireplace, are two double bedrooms and a bathroom. From here, we can access a first terrace. Wow, I absolutely love it. The view from here is fantastic. Being in the shade with the nice breeze and just looking over this, this view is an absolutely incredible experience. This terrace can be accessed from the living room, 
from a bedroom and it is also connected to the garden that is embellished by oak trees. As mentioned, the property is symmetrical. So this is the first of two terraces. The second is accessible from the bedroom on the opposite side. The Fienile is adjacent to the parking area that has a total of eight to nine parking spaces, three of which are covered, and it is right below the main entrance. The parking area is opposite to the main villa that was built in the year 1000. So if you follow me, let's check it out. We are in the main villa, which is 350 square meters and is developed on three floors. It has a Tuscan style, as we can see from the cotto floors and the exposed wooden beam ceilings. And this entrance is a connection point to various rooms of the floor. To my right is the kitchen. The kitchen has a last generation induction stove, marble countertop and sink. It also has a central table and is connected to the dining room. I like how they use a glass door to connect the spaces, so you can always maintain that visual connection between the rooms. The spacious dining room has a central table and is embellished by a lovely fireplace. It has wooden floors that are the same color as the exposed wooden beam ceilings and from here we can access the property's indoor pool which has been temporarily transformed into a small apartment but can easily be brought back to life. From here the dining room connects to an external dining area. Wow this is absolutely stunning. Under this gorgeous gazebo, we have an external dining area and lounge area where you can eat or relax, enjoying the breathtaking view over the surrounding landscape. I mean, just take a look for yourself. It's amazing. The gazebo flows right into the adjacent exotic garden with sunbathing area. I mean, how incredible is it that you can enjoy such a variety of nature in the comfort of your own home? There is already the executive project to add a 12 meter swimming pool in the land right behind me, surrounded by olive groves. But now, let's go back inside. From the dining room, we can access the central space, which is on a slightly lower level in respect to the rest. From here, we find the staircase that will take us to the first floor that we will see in a moment. This room connects also to the guest bathroom that serves the floor and is connected to the laundry room as well as the living room. This first area of the living room is being used as a library. As soon as we enter, we have a light and fresh sensation. Speaking of fresh, the property maintains the temperature very well both in the summertime and in the wintertime thanks to the thick walls. The floors are heated and each room can be regulated separately. The property has its own demotic system that controls the alarm, heating and the automated gates. From here we have an access to the parking area. But now follow me and let's go on the first floor. The first floor opens up into this warm and cozy family room with beautiful exposed wooden beam ceilings and wooden floors. It is embellished by a lovely fireplace and this is the connection point of the first floor. From here we can access a balcony that leads straight back to the exotic garden. To my right is a first double bedroom with beautiful brick art right above the bed. Next to it is a second room that could be used as a bedroom or study and adjacent a first bathroom with freestanding bathtub. On the opposite side of the family room is the master bedroom. I absolutely adore the master bedroom. The choice of colors, the patterns on the fabric and even the furnishings. Everything just pulls you to relax. We have the warm wooden floors and the exposed wooden beam ceilings. 
The master bedroom has a double exposure. On the one side, you have the beautiful countryside, while on the other, it looks over the property's garden. Here, we have a cozy reading table. Adjacent to the master bedroom is the master bathroom and a spacious walk-in closet from which we have a wooden staircase that accesses the top of the tower used as storage. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And for further information on this property, check out our website at lineart.com. On that note, I'll leave you with a view. Ciao!